I'm actually uh, shooting this video from the Canary Islands on a huge banana plantation. In fact, if you could be here now with me, you could smell the bananas in the air. But uh, don't worry, I haven't been eating any bananas. I'm not a great fan of bananas. Now this set of uh, videos is called Leaf Growth and the first one is called Learning. I'll explain now how each of the letters of Leaf Growth spell out the programme that uh, you'll be receiving. Learning. This presentation examines how awareness is the key to success. Energy. You will learn that everything is connected. Already here. Picture your desires. Well, you already hold the key. Finally, Focus. We examine the importance of monitoring your thoughts. Goals. We examine the practical tools of goal setting. Receive. We need to give, but do you know how to receive? One step at a time highlights your pathway forward. The will. You'll learn how to use your will on yourself and not always on others. Thought. We'll learn how thought really is first cause and precedes all physical creations. And finally, health. An examination of not just the importance of a healthy body, but also a healthy mind. So with this video number one on learning, let's start with a great quote by Socrates. He said, wisdom begins in wonder. Martin Palmer once said, the secret to mastery in any field is forever to be a student. And this is so important. Learning has to be the principle behind any path towards success. Regardless of what venture you're following, what success path you wish to undertake, there are certain universal laws that we have to follow. So the big question is, who are you studying at the moment? If you study any of the great inventors throughout history, you always find out that they were capable of remarkable things. And that's because they kept learning. They kept probing the mysterious. They kept asking questions. In fact, Einstein once said that the key to success was using his imagination and exploring the mysterious. Now your path to success and learning is a bit like this uh, leaf. While it's attached to the bush, it uh, has nutrients and it's able to stay alive. And uh, it's connected to a larger system, um, a larger plant or a larger bush. And our lives are a bit like that. If we keep studying, we keep learning, and we learn these universal laws, then our lives are going to be enriched so we've discovered that learning raises our awareness, it helps us towards those steps towards success. Now, do you know the universal laws that govern success? Well, let's have a look at them. The perpetual transmutation of energy. This is the idea that energy begins in the mind and then creates form. You have a wonderful imagination. Relativity. Nothing is good or bad until we relate it to something. Everything in life can be compared. Vibration. Feeling is an awareness of vibration, and everything in the universe, including your thoughts, vibrate. Polarity. The idea of opposites, such as hot and cold, and how this universal law affects your life. Cause and effect. This is basically the idea of karma. What you give out is what you receive. Rhythm. The idea that the tide goes in, the tide goes out, night and day, good or bad. Rhythm surrounds all of our lives. Gender. This is the idea that your dreams have a gestation period and there's going to be a perfect time for it to enter your life. So as we leave the um, banana plantation, I'll leave you with some great authors that uh, you need to study. Napoleon Hill, Wallace Wattles, and the best of all, Thomas Troad. I mean, absolutely uh, inspirational. All of the great uh, authors, in fact mentors, have always had great libraries, they've always studied great books. So finally, here's today's tip. Ask yourself on a daily basis, what am I learning about the universe today? So until I see you next time on video number two, you have a great week, you infinite spiritual being. So, to summarise, all great achievers have been great readers. 
Raising your level of awareness is the key to personal growth. Reading and study will have a direct effect on any business. Oh, and, and one final point. <coughs>